Hi, I am Rong Lu, and I am a program manager on the Visual Studio team. In this video, I'm going to show you the latest graphics diagnostics feature in Visual Studio 2015 that enables diagnosing graphical rendering problems in DirectX 12 apps for Windows 10. Here are the topics we're going to cover today. I'm going to first talk about how the graphics diagnostics tool in Visual Studio can make debugging DirectX 12 apps easier. And then we're going to get into a demo to see the tool in action. At the end, I'll share a few resources if you're interested to get more information about this tool. As you may have heard, DirectX 12 is more efficient. It achieves this efficiency by being even more direct to the hardware than any previous version of DirectX. DirectX has always been a thin layer on top of the hardware, just enough to hide the differences between hardware. As time moves on, today's most modern GPUs have very similar capabilities, which means DirectX 12 can be even leaner by reducing the CPU overhead and moving the responsibility of resource management out of the runtime and drivers and moving into the application. After all, it is the application that has the most complete knowledge of what resources are needed and when. DirectX 12 gives more power and control into developers' hands. While it is great to have controls in hand, it also comes with a lot of new challenges exploring in the wild without the existence of DirectX runtime. And this is why we want to make sure good diagnostics tools are ready for you whenever you need it. The graphics diagnostics tool in Visual Studio 2015 enables debugging rendering problems in DirectX 12 apps for Windows 10. Now, let's get into a demo. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use Visual Studio Graphics Diagnostics tool to debug a DirectX 12 app. Here we are in Visual Studio 2015. I have a DirectX 12 sample app open. Let me run this first. This is basically a ray tracing application. You see a number of balls being rendered with lights and reflections. So it requires pretty intensive computation on the GPU. Now this time, we're going to launch this application again, but with the graphics debugger attached. If you have used this feature before for debugging DirectX 11 or 10 apps, the way to launch the tool has not changed. It's the same shortcut key, same menu, to launch it for DirectX 12. Graphics, start diagnostics. Now this time we have app running. Back here in Visual Studio, in this active session, we have two swim lanes that shows your frame time and frame rate as the app is running. Down here, we have a capture frame button that allows you to capture any frames from your application. So let's capture a few frames from this app. I can also capture the frame from within the application by using the print screen key on your keyboard. So I'm going to do that. OK, now I get two frames. Stop this application so we can inspect each frame. Back in Visual Studio, I'm going to click on a frame, which will then launch a separate tool, a separate IDE window called Visual Studio Graphics Analyzer. You will find all the uh, related tool windows for understanding this particular frame in this big IDE without having to go back to the main Visual Studio. OK, now we're here. At high level, on the left side, we have this uh, event list. Uh, we have, in this case, three execute command lists event. Um, so this is new in DirectX 12. So by looking at this, you can tell this is a DirectX 12 app. Um, command list is a way for grouping a number of draw calls and um, send them to ex for execution at the same time. So this gives the control into the developer's hands to decide which draw calls and when are going to be executed. Expanding this node, we can then walk through each of these draw calls and watch the output on the right side. For example, if I click 
on this jaw event. We see uh, the shadow is being rendered by this jaw event. If I move on to the next one, we see the balls are being drawn with all the solid colors. And then moving on, we start to see reflections. We started, start to see all these lights being added. So this is one place where you can find out uh, which draw call is responsible for drawing what. And if there's a rendering problem, you will be able to find out which draw event has the issue. Other things that you can do in this tool is if you're interested in a particular pixel, you can then click anywhere on this frame, which show you a history of this particular pixel, including which triangle this vertex is part of, which shader code are being ran. Um, also down here, if you want to drill into the pipeline, we have this graphics pipeline stages view, where you can follow through the flow of each stage and uh, be able to look at which um, what happened in each stage and initial input and final output. So far, all these features I've showed you um, already exist in Visual Studio earlier versions uh, for DirectX 11 and 10 apps. So we brought up all these features uh, for DirectX 12 because they still apply. But in addition to that, we also added new features to support DirectX 12 because DirectX 12 APIs are so different from DirectX 11 and 10 that we need some special UI to expose these additional information to you as a developer. One example of that is the state window we recently added to Visual Studio 2015. So we talked about um, this command list earlier. There are a bunch of states you would have to set for each command list that you will send off to the GPU. Um, here we have a tree grid that shows you all these different states. Now you can walk through this, uh, this event list and watch the changes in this tree grid. All these values in red means the value has changed since the previous draw call. All right, the last thing I want to mention is this event call stack over here. So for DirectX um, 12 apps, we, we also collect call stacks for all the DirectX events, just like what we do for DirectX 11 and 10. If once you find the draw code you're interested in to fix, you can then go back to your source code quickly by double clicking on the call stack. Now here, we are back in Visual Studio main IDE with my source code open and the line of code being highlighted. In the demo, I showed you how to use the Visual Studio Graphics Diagnostics tool to debug a DirectX 12 app. Hope you have enjoyed it and found it useful in helping you to build your next awesome game. If so, you can get these tools by installing Windows 10 and Visual Studio 2015 from these links. Here's a blog post where you can find a detailed introduction of this tool. And if you're interested in hearing more updates in the future, please follow the Visual C++ team blog. Thank you for watching.